Now, in terms of application security, what do we mean? What does that entail? Um, the Well, there's security within applications. If you are uh, developing an application, does it um, uh, manage uh, access to the uh, information or, or functions that it holds or entails or, or manages? Um, does uh, does it do the right thing? You know, going back to uh, uh, SPAF's uh, description of a secure system, a a secure system is is something that does what it is supposed to. So, okay, um, does this system do what it is supposed to? Does it um, provide us what we think it's going to provide us with? Um, does it? Uh, properly perform the calculations that we uh, think it's performing for us? Does, uh, does it appropriately manage uh, information, etc., etc.? Um, so uh, that is uh, something. And, and if we are developing applications or if we are providing specifications to somebody else to develop uh, applications for us, or um, if we are buying uh, applications, you know, specifying what we expect out of those applications and, and understanding um, whether or not uh, an application that we are purchasing um, is going to provide uh, what we need in the way of security. Um, database security is a, a specialized field within uh, this area and um, unfortunately an area that even uh, application security specialists may not uh, fully appreciate um, the uh, uh, very um, frustrating uh, work in a sense uh, research directions in database security a book that is now more than 30 years old and yet um, the uh, the problems that it describes, the the issues um, uh, of security in uh, database management, are still by and large uh, prevalent and um, have not been addressed. Now there are new or newish tools uh, to address some of those issues, such as uh, differential privacy. Um, but the uh, uh, the implementation of these and, and the um, uh, successful development of these issues is um, uh, still open to question. So, um, so uh, as I say, in terms of developing our own software, is this uh, you know are we developing secure applications? Um, so, uh, now there's also, in, in addition to the development of the, the original application, or the, the major development of the application, um, there is change, or configuration, or patch management that also fits into this, and um, it very often is seen as simply an informal process, but we really should be using the same tools that we use for development and management of development and the, the application life cycle um, should have a formal uh, part of to, to play in, in these areas and issues. Um, and so we should uh, deal uh, effectively and, and uh, many times more formally with uh, configuration, with uh, patching, with um, any changes. Uh, improvements, modifications, additional functions and features that we we want in our application. Um, uh, so, malware, uh, my field. Um, that's how I got into uh, information security as a whole. I started out in uh, researching computer viruses, and it is um, it is depressing after more than three decades 
the coverage of uh, malware in the source security literature other than certain specialty uh, works is uh, inadequate. And, and certainly the understanding of what malware is, uh, the different types of malware, um, is, is lacking in uh, security overall. Um, I, and, I mean, you know, that can sound very self-serving because that is my original field, but it's... Uh, it, in, in terms of the proliferation of different types of malware, it has not become less important to identify different types, but more important because different types of malware mount different types of attacks and you require different types of protection. And, and therefore, um, it, it is, as I say, more important uh, to know what the differences and the nuances are uh, with regard to that. Now, unfortunately, um, we, what we are looking at in, in terms of application security is uh, possibly um, unusual to most of you because all too few security practitioners know anything at all about programming. You know, how many of you have programmed? And when I say have programmed, I mean, you know, just that, you know, did you do uh, a, a project in one course, in one language? You know, do you know at least five computer languages? Doesn't, you, you don't have to work as a programmer, but, you know, do you know uh, different languages? Do you know different types of languages? Have you ever programmed something in assembler or machine language? Um, in uh, something other than a procedural language, or these days, usually, something more than a, uh, um, uh, an object-oriented language. So different types of languages, different types of development, uh, all these types of things. And unfortunately, too few programmers know or care anything about security. And so, you know, we have a, a major problem and it's an increasing problem and, and you know software is the the lifeblood of technology you know it's not just the hardware it is the software as well and we need to understand this we need to secure this that is what we have to go through in application security